So the Upper Bulkley River watershed in Houston is a uh, tributary of the Greater Skeena River watershed and it's the river that flows through our town. The people in Houston and area live very closely to the land. We pick berries, we fish, we hunt. All of those things are really important to us, our own health and prosperity. Arasha is working in the Upper Bulkley River watershed uh, because it's one of the most impacted and probably one of the most endangered watersheds in the larger Skeena watershed. There has been a hundred years of impact from railroads to highways to agriculture to forestry to mining and all of those impacts put together have really put a lot of stress on the watershed. Because we are a very few amount of people in a large amount of space, one of the things that I've been able to do and the team in Houston have been able to do is sort of be eyes on the river. In the last year and a half we've started monitoring the watershed more with our stream keepers work and one of the most exciting things was our pilot fish hatchery. So we raised coho salmon and uh, were able to incorporate and engage a lot of the community. <laughs> I've discovered that salmon or fish is really the language of the community. Whether you're a clerk in the grocery store or if you're the CEO of a big company, as soon as you start talking about salmon, people's eyes light up and they get all excited and they have stories to tell. There's a lot of brokenness in our watershed, both relationally between people and relationally between the people and the land. And so we've been able to see reconciliation, or at least the starting of reconciliation, between some of the people and people who didn't believe that the project was worthwhile or even needed in our area came to visit the pilot hatchery and ended up really yes, loving it. It's a big one back. Oh, yeah. In the next year, I'm really excited about the prospect of having a fish hatchery and a nature center in Houston and about engaging the community and bringing them into the story of fish and fish habitat and watershed stewardship and just caring for the creation in our area of the world. I've just been really thankful. It's just been so amazing to see the community come together and to see the amount of support around this project and it really is an answer to prayer. It's a 20-year-old prayer and it's really exciting to see.